is that a horse for natural, if you just chase him around or watch him loose in the pasture, they for natural don't differentiate between a clean change, a late behind change, and an early behind change. In fact, when you buy a horse, even if it's a foal, it's a good idea to chase. The trainer's worst nightmare is to get a horse in for training that's done late behind changes for years and years. Someone who never got the changes clean but decided to show third or fourth level anyway. And so the horse is done late behind changes, 10,000 late behind changes. And sometimes I've always been able to fix them, but it's taken me up to four years to fix them when they come in like that. So getting a clean change is very important. We, um, the canter is a three-beat gait with the suspension. So it actually goes to four tempi music. So if you do a freestyle, don't think your canter is waltz music. It isn't. You go one, two, three, suspension. One, two, three, one, two, three. The change is done during the suspension. If you give the aid on beat one, and that's when the none leading hind leg hits the ground. You give the horse the maximum amount of possible time to set up for the change and do it in the next suspension. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, 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 one. Do your own pattern. Okay, it was clean. It was very crooked. He threw his shoulders to the left. Use the whip next time. Put the whip on the inside, support that right active leg. And use the whip when you give the aid and try to keep them straighter. Use the whip. Nope. Good catch.